Hi there, my name is Susan Ibach, aka Hockey Geek Girl, and I wanted to share with you another little tip for working in Visual Studio. Today I want to show you how to use and modify your themes. You may have already discovered that there are some basic themes you can choose from that affect the colors that appear inside Visual Studio. If you go to the Quick Launch and search for theme, you will find under Tools, Options, Environment, General, that you can choose and modify a color theme. At the moment I have mine set to blue, you might have yours set to light or to dark. Now if I pick my drop down box, you're going to see a long list of choices, probably more choices than you have. That's because I've gone ahead and installed a handy little add-in called the Visual Studio Color Theme Editor. And that installs a number of other default themes for me as well. So that allows me to choose from a greater variety. I might choose the green theme. I've always had a fondness for green backgrounds. And you can see that that changes my screen. But in addition to giving me some other default themes that I can choose from, it also gives me the ability to create my own themes. So if I go to Tools and I scroll way down here under Change Color Theme, that's just another way to change which theme I'm using, but I can also choose Customize Colors. And this shows me all the themes I can play with, but I can also select a particular theme. Maybe the green's nice, but I want to do a little bit of tweaking to it. So I select the green theme and I say, let's make a copy of that theme and maybe make some changes to it. So this is going to be Sue's green and I'm going to go ahead here and edit that theme. And what will happen is I get a screen here that allows me to modify all the different choices for the tabs, for the command bar, so I could change the background of the tabs. Uh, maybe I make decide to make those yellow and you get a little preview of how they're going to appear after you've made a choice. Oh, apparently it didn't quite catch that one there. There we go. Um, so you can make some changes to how they appear when they're hovered over. Um, maybe I want to change the way the menu appears to be a light orange color. Uh, and if I want to change the way pop-up menus appear, I can change that. Or maybe I want to change the entire background when we're doing coding. So you can scroll down and there's a nice preview on the right hand side so you can sort of see what you're modifying as you go. Uh, main window, backgrounds, defaults, etc. So you can go ahead and make all the changes you want and when you're done you can either pick save to save the theme or you can choose to save and apply it as well. And whenever you're done at any time you can see I've got my orange uh, title bar there and some yellow for my tab headers. This one's rather hideous. I'm not sure I'm keeping it. But it gives me that ability to create my own themes based on someone else's and modify the individual colors and so on to be the way I like them. Now if like me you're a little um, color challenged in terms of design, you might want to see if other people have developed themes that you find useful. Well, there's another nice little uh, web page you might want to go looking for after you've installed the color theme editor. Go and search for Studio Styles. That's Studio S-T-Y-L period E-S. And in there, that's a community area where people share different Visual Studio color schemes they've created. So you can go there and see some of the more popular themes that have been downloaded and you can go import these themes, download and import them and use them yourself. Here's a nice, uh, you know, different seat, different themes for different times of year. Look, some Halloween ones. I'm recording this one in October. So check out the different themes and pick something that looks right for you when working in Visual Studio. Happy coding.